So in this program, we will be accepting a set of numbers separated by a comma and printing the sum of those numbers. So here we have three numbers 10, 20, 30. Their sum is 60, which is printed as the output. In another example, we have 10, 100, 200, 400. So the input is like they are separated by a comma. Okay. So 200 comma 400. So now their sum is nothing but 710. So this should, this must be the output. Now let us look at the code. So the logic is we will accept everything as a string and then we will tokenize the string based on the comma. So to get the input, first I am declaring the scanner to read the input. Okay, and then I am pressing Ctrl Shift I to do the necessary import. So input is equal to sc dot next line. I am reading the entire line. Okay. And then I am saying input dot split. I am using the method and it will split based on the comma. So now I am saying int sum is equal to 0. I am initializing. Okay. So here it is giving error because it will return an array. So it is not a string, but it is a string array. So now for string str now, that is number is represented as a string. String in string numbers. Sum, I am adding it to the integer value of that str num. So to do that, I am using integer dot parsint. So what integer dot parsint in line number 11 will do is from the string value, it will convert it into an integer value, right? So at the end of this loop, this sum will contain the sum of all these num numbers that are separated. So I am just saying print sum, okay? So now let's execute the program. Twenty comma thirty. So the output is sixty. We'll give another example. Ten comma hundred comma two hundred comma four hundred comma five hundred. Output is one two one zero. So the, we'll sum a recap. Here the three things are we are using split and then isolating the string representation of the numbers. Then we are using integer.parsing to convert the string value to integer and adding it to the sum. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching.